हे मेडिकोज वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक दैट इज हेडिक यस हेडिक द पेपर लाइक आई एन सी टी एंड नेट पी जी द मोस्ट क्वेश्चन आर स्टार्टिंग विद द सिम्टम दैट इज हेडेक सो लेट स्टार्ट बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ हेडेक दैट यू और सम वन यू नो माइट हैव एक्सपीरियंस सो फर्स्ट वी विल डू वन बाय वन एंड एट द एंड आई विल गिव अ ब्रीफ समरी इन अ शॉर्ट and you will get a proper understanding so first one is tension headache the most common type of headache bring on a steady mild to moderate pain that feels like a band tightening around the head so it is a bilateral they often results from stress muscle tension or poor posture so this is the tension headache now the second one is migraine and migraine are intense often debilitating headaches characterized by severe thrombing pain usually on one side of the head they come with additional symptoms like nausea vomiting and sensitive to light and sound we have a mnemonic that is pound so p for falsatile o for one day it is unilateral and for nausea d for disabling so this is the mnemonic for it and migraine have triggering factors like alcohol smell light sound food medications stress caffeine weather or lack of sleep can be so these are the different triggering factors there can be aura present or absent so how we are going to manage migraine so it is generally treated by triptans which are drug of choice but beta blockers can be used as a prophylaxis fda approved erinumab that is CGRP inhibitor which is calcitonin gene related peptide inhibitor can be used for treating this condition so this is the migraine now headache which is unilateral repetitive periorbital and associated with lacrimation and horner syndrome so the first one is cluster headache cluster headache are excruciatingly painful recurring headaches that occurs in cluster or a groups often at a time of a day or a night they are characterized by severe one sided pain usually around the eyes and can last from 15 minutes to 120 minutes and can be treated by using 100% of oxygen sumatriptans and varapamil can also be used as a prophylaxis so this is the cluster headache now the next thing is paroxysmal hemicrania now here if headache is persisting up to 2 to 30 minutes and there is a extremely painful type of headache characterized by sudden and severe one sided typically associated with additional symptoms like tearing of eyes nasal congestion and restlessness and usually responding well to specific medications like indomethacin so it is a paroxysmal hemicrania so if 2 to 30 minutes and responding to the indomethacin that means it is a paroxysmal hemicrania now the next one is again unilateral and persisting up to 5 to 20 seconds here there is a highly painful type of headache it is characterized by sudden short lasting usually up to 5 to 20 seconds and burst of intense stabbing or burning pain on one side of a head usually around the eyes this attacks can be frequently throughout the day and are accompanied by redness and tearing of eyes and also may cause nasal congestion so this is sun city that means short lasting unilateral with neuralgia from headache with conjunctival injection and tearing so this is the sun city and this is the unilateral headache okay so here in unilateral periorbital if lacrimation is there that means it can be cluster headache it can be paroxysmal hemicrania and it can be sun city okay now the next one is trigeminal neuralgia trigeminal neuralgia is also a unilateral condition so what is trigeminal neuralgia so trigeminal neuralgia is an excruciating facial pain disorder characterized by sudden and severe burst of electrical shock like pain along the trigeminal nerve typically one side of a face and 
it is associated with unilateral headache this episodes are often triggered by everyday activities like eating talking or even a light touch okay so trigeminal neuralgia can be a debilitating but there are medications and procedures that can manage the pain and improve the quality of life for those affected like use of carbamazepine so using carbamazepine we can control this condition now if patient came with a history of headache and having a typical history of using tetracycline ocp or he or she is obese using vitamin e dinazol with associated features like tinnitus diplopia papilledema or increased opening pressure if it is more than 250 mm of h2o that means we will have to rule out venous sinus thrombosis by using mr venogram so after ruling out venous sinus thrombosis this is pseudo tumor cerebri that is idiopathic intracranial hypertension so pseudo tumor cerebri it is a rare condition characterized by increased pressure within the skull and mimicking the symptoms of brain tumors it can leads to debilitating headache visual disturbances and other neurological symptoms because of increased csa pressure so that's why patient presented with above symptoms and it can be treated by using acetazolamide and cns drainage okay so this is the pseudo tumor cerebri so this is all about the headache now look over here here we have an image and we can be used to simplify the headache if you have a question like this in your examination then you can see look headache if it's a bilateral then tension headache if it is uh, unilateral pulsatile nausea vomiting is there triggering factor is there that means it is a migraine if it is unilateral with periorbital uh, lacrimation is there associated with the horner syndrome repetitive it can be cluster headache paroxysmal hemicrania or it can be sensitivity now the thing is if there is the excruciating pain along the trigeminal nerve that means is the trigeminal neuralgia it can be pseudo tumor cerebri if patient presents with associated features like tinnitus diplopia because of increased intracranial pressure there might be features of diplopia papilledema right so this is the pseudo tumor cerebri now one another thing is there giant cell arteritis if there is unilateral thrombing headache with jaw claudication okay with the jaw claudication and it is most commonly seen with the elderly female so this is the giant cell arteritis and here we can treat by using first steroids so we can prevent the visual loss and after that we can biopsy the long segment about 3 to 5 cm and stain with vvg so it will stain the elastin lamina look over here it will stain the elastin lamina so this is the giant cell arteritis okay unilateral thrombing headache with jaw claudication so this is the simplifying chart so thanks for watching and joining me today if you found this video informative please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more medical insights if you have any questions or want me to cover a specific topic in the future please leave a comment below stay healthy and i'll see you in the next video thank you